Okay, yeah, I'm going to attempt the roller set today. I just got my hair up right now. Um, this towel back over me. I just got my hair up right now. I'm about to take it down. I just washed the um, rest of oil out my hair. This is what my hair looked like before. So you guys did it before. Okay. What I want to do, I have a mixture of this is a lot of body setting lotion with water. I'm going to put, yes, a little bit of olive oil in my hair again. And I'm going to use rollers. I'm going to attempt to use these mesh rollers like this. These are the ones that you stick the pin through. And I'm going to just use my ponytail holders. You'll see what I'm using those for. And I'm going to use my, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be using. I'm going to just put my hair into sections and I'll come back and show you how many sections I have in there and then I'll show you what, I, what I'm doing from there. Okay? Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm here to show you my roller set that I did. Okay, what I did was I put my hair in one, two, three, four, five, six, in six sections. I just tied, put it in six ponytails. And what I did, take the ends that were sticking out and roll that up. Um, I would be lying if I said this was easy. It's not easy. It is very time consuming. But probably the more you do it, the better you'll get and the quicker you'll get with it. I... Do, I never really roll my hair. I would try in the past, but I was never very successful at it. And um, even when I had a perm, I couldn't. I couldn't do a roll set. And for me to try to do it on this, my curly hair, yeah, it's it's a challenge. But I saw this technique, and it looked pretty easy, and it looked simple. So I figured I'd try it. Um, we're gonna see how this turns out. Um, I don't think it's gonna be that great because. I don't know. I was just figuring it out at the end. It took me a while because, um, and the rollers I'm using are mesh rollers. Um, mesh rollers have like more holes in it, so hopefully my hair should dry quicker. Right now, oh yeah, and I wanted to add one more thing. Um, when you're rolling your hair, especially with natural hair, with it being very curly, um, I take a Denman brush for my ends because a lot of times the ends get really frizzy because your hair is so curly. So I get my Denman brush and put a lot of water on it or setting lotion, saturate it really well and go through the ends with the Denman brush. And then something else I use to help me roll my hair better and it also helps with your ends also would be like the paper, you know, like the roller paper. I put that at the end of my hair and that helps also. This is a little side note that I thought I would add in there. All right, see. That didn't go that well, but I could see uh, what I need to do next time to make it better. It was some things that I did on my part that um, didn't make it turn out so well. But what I did do is I ended up taking my roller set, my roller set sections and putting it in twist and let it finish drying overnight. And I just flat ironed my head um, this morning. And after I flat ironed it, I'm going to ra I wrapped it and I put saran wrap. So I'm doing silk wrap with it. Um, it still reduces the heat that I use on my hair because I didn't really have to use like a blow dryer attachment. And I was tired of sitting under that dryer with the rolls in my head. Like I sat under for an hour and a half and my hair still wasn't dry. And so I was like, forget it. I can only sit in the dryer for so long. But um, I'm going to do the silk wrap and I'm going to show you guys my final results. All right. Okay, I'm back. Um, I sat in there a little over 20 minutes, but we'll see how this turned out. Twist it off instead of just snatching it off. It's real smooth. Got my brush. It's hard for you to see things with this um, camera, but let me just comb it all down. I'll fix it later how I like. But pretty much you see how straight it is. I'm going to turn the back. You guys can see the back. 
back of my hair, pretty much my hair has grown. Ooh. I'm almost at bra strap. My bra strap about right there. And I'm not far from it. Huh. But anyway. <coughs> Just to recap. Um, I tried to roller set. It didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. Um, but I think I know what I'm going to do next time to tweak that. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. And when it comes to roller setting, it does help if you use the little paper things at the end because it makes it easier for you to roll the hair and also it'll get your ends smooth. And also, when you're roller setting your hair, you want to saturate the ends as much as possible. And I take my dimming brush so it'll smooth out the ends because if you don't, with naturally curly hair, you're going to have frizzy ends. And you know, when you put it in a roller set, it's going to come out kind of bushy at the end. <clears throat> um, what else can I offer? Oh, um, don't over oil your hair. I think I had too much oil in my hair, and that's probably why it's so straight. Like, I, I don't like my hair like bone straight. That's one thing I never liked about perms because when I first get a perm, my hair was like a little too straight, and I don't like that. But um, when I did the olive oil treatment, like the video you guys saw about deep conditioning and doing an oil treatment, I had did an olive oil treatment, and technically, that's all that I really needed to get my hair just right. But I ended up putting more oil in my hair, and I also used um, argon oil for flat ironing, <coughs> which can be a little too oily. Um, as far as the silk wrap. Uh, well, I notice a lot of people over here on YouTube, they can't get the ceram wrap on their head um, straight. What you want to do is take the whole box and put it around your head. Don't tear it from the box yet. Just take the box and wrap it around. And once you got it around your head, then tear it from the box. Let's see. <coughs> is there anything else I need to tell you guys? Well, with this whole experience, um, I did find a healthier way to straighten my hair. Usually, I would have to take the blow dryer with the comb attachment to blow it out to get it straight first. And then I have the flat ironing, which is putting a lot of heat on my head. One thing that this did is it eliminates so much heat. It like, eliminates the blow drying, um, and I could just go straight to the flat ironing. But what I think I might do next time, because <laughs> putting the rollers in my head, was, it was a pain. It's, it was easier doing that way versus doing the mohawk style, but it was still a little bit of a pain. So what I'll probably do if I redo this hairstyle again next week is just put my hair in different ponytails and twist it up like a little girl. You know how you look, look girls' hair when they have ponytails and just twist? I'll probably do that and just let it over dry, let it air dry overnight, and then the very next day I will flat iron it. So therefore, that'll cut out me having to blow dry my hair, and therefore, it's a lot healthier. Um, I hope you guys enjoy what I try to do to my hair. I'm I'm still on a quest where I'm gonna figure out how to roller set my hair. Um, I I don't know why I'm so obsessed with that, but I just want to figure out that you know I can roller set my hair while it's natural. Um, if you guys have any questions or you know, you want to leave comments, please do. If you have any suggestions for a roller setting, you can do that also. And I'd like to thank you guys um, who gave me, like, uh, responses about how to add more moisture in my hair. I really appreciate that. And I also want to thank and I hope you guys stay blessed. All right, bye. Cause you got what I like.